Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through what you can look out for with your scoliosis, what kind of changes do you have going on in your body, and what does this all mean? How can we test ourselves to see what kind of scoliosis we have? I'm going to show you how we're going to do that so that you know what kind of scoliosis you have because it's just going to be such a huge help in actually being able to help yourself and do some exercises and corrective work for it. So what you're going to do, you're going to stand up nice and tall, feet shoulder width apart, and I just want you to completely relax. So just let your scoliosis collapse. Let everything kind of just hang loose and just see how this feels. I feel like if you give your arms a little wiggle from side to side, like, do you notice if one of your hands is touching your leg, maybe one of your hands isn't? Just noticing how your body is feeling, what direction is things going in. Then we're going to start down at the feet. So you can have a little bounce up and down and then land and then look at your feet is one foot turning out slightly are your arches different maybe you have a flat arch and a high arch these are the kind of signals of scoliosis it is common to have one foot that does this love this for us because there's all obviously things going on up in the hips and everything is connected so if you do have one foot turning out to the side that is a sign of scoliosis, it doesn't mean you definitely have scoliosis, but it is a sign that you have something going on in the hips. You might have, your toes might look different, you might have a kind of bunion-y thing on one side of your foot. Again, this is all side, This is all signs of walking differently, loading differently of your feet, which is scoliosis related. Then we're going to come up, so then I want you to look at your knees. Do you have one knee turning in slightly more? Are both your knees pointing in the same direction? Does one knee point out? Just note these things down. Maybe grab a pen and paper and just write down what you're seeing in your body. What is going on? Then from our knees, we're going to come up to our hips. And this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. So for me, I have right thoracic left lumbar scoliosis. So my right hip is up and rotate it forward. Now this might be different for you, you probably do have different type of scoliosis, so that's just an example of what my hip is doing and this is an exaggeration of that. I want you to take your hands onto your hips and feel like, does one hip feel higher than the other hip? Does one hip feel further forward? Like what differences do you have there? And write it down. Right now, my left hip feels higher. My right hip feels higher. They feel the same. Just what, what do you notice? You can use these little bony points to help. Then from here, we're going to come up to our thoracic area. So you can maybe take your hands to your hips and feel here. Like, does one side feel kind of shifted to the side? If it does, what side is it shifting to? So I have right thoracic. So I'm shifting to the right up here. If you have left thoracic, you're gonna maybe shift a little bit over to the left, like that. So this is just kind of helping you figure out what, if you've got left or right, what's going on. You can also feel um, your ribs. So this is um, obviously an important, most noticeable thing with scoliosis is the rib hump. I hate calling it that, but it is what it is. So you can feel your ribs, do your ribs poke out more one side than the other. Mine poke out back here. This is my convexity, my thoracic convexity. I also have a lumbar convexity down here. So two different types of convexities. I also have one up here as well. So three curve scoliosis for me. Again, you probably have different, but just so you know what I'm saying you might have a rib hump on one side so if you do have a rib hump that is your convex side so depending if your rib hump is on the right you have right thoracic if your rib hump is on the left you have left thoracic so hopefully that helps give you an idea then from here you're going to come up to your neck and your shoulders so you might notice that your shoulders 
a little bit uneven. Again, totally normal. You might notice that one shoulder rolls forward slightly. And this is maybe if it is rolling forward, it's because of your convexity, because of the rib cage is rotated backwards. It means that our shoulder kind of rolls forward. So it's just part of it, but these are all things that we want to know about so we can help kind of make them better and correct them as much as possible. So I have another curve in my neck so that tilts my head this way because my thoracic curve comes around like this and then my neck is trying to like help compensate by tilting me this way, which is just not ideal, but it is what it is. So I have to kind of tilt my head up like this because otherwise I'm like this all the time. <laughs> So kind of just notice like, is your head tilting one way? Can you rotate your head more one way than the other way? Does one side feel more comfortable? Notice all these things, write them down. It just gives you a really good idea of what, what is going on with your curves. And then yeah, just all the way up to the head, just noticing like, are there any differences in your face? Do your jaw bones feel different? Do you notice like you have any anything kind of crooked in your face? I notice that I have one lazy eye, my nose is a little bit crooked, my smile is uneven, all this stuff. And I don't know if that's scoliosis, scoliosis related or not, but part of me thinks that it is scoliosis related. So I'd be interested to know if you have things going on in your face as well. Maybe it's connected. I don't know, but that's my hypothesis. So yeah, just be really aware of what is going on in your body because then you'll know how to correct it a little bit more. If you know your right hip is hip, uh, your right hip is higher, for example, when it comes to doing your corrections, you'll know to pull your right hip down slightly. If you know that you're shifting off to the right, for example, you'll know that you need to bring yourself back to center, pull yourself left. If you know that you have one shoulder higher than the other, you'll know when you're doing your corrections, what shoulder to bring down. If you know what's going on with your head, if it's rotated or twisted, you know, okay, so I need to bring my head to the left a little bit and up, we always wanna be going up to help correct it. So yeah, I hope that just gives you a little idea of how you can scan your body and see what your scoliosis is doing, what direction things are moving in, so that it can help you make corrections. So eventually we can just stand nice and tall, and this will be your corrections if you're doing yoga, exercise, walking, running, anything like that. You wanna try and be holding your corrections. Then we're gonna come on to the Adams forward fold test. So this is gonna be really great. What I want you to do is either film yourself or get your parents or your boyfriend or your whoever, a friend to, to watch and basically write down what they're seeing. So in an Adam's forward fold test, you can bring your hands together. I want you to relax your shoulders and relax your head. Basically, we're gonna fold forward, just leading with the head, trying to keep the head heavy, trying to keep the arms heavy, folding all the way down slowly. And you might see that you have one side that is up higher than the other side. And it might change as you come down. Maybe your lower back has one side higher. And then as you come up, your thoracic has a higher side on the opposite side. I'm going to do that for you again. I'm going to turn around and face this way. Now I suddenly regret the shorts. But we're going to come this way. So I want you to look at my spine and see what side is higher, what side is lower as I'm coming down. Keeping my hands really heavy, my head heavy, slowly coming down. And then gently coming back up. I hope that you managed to see my curves. So basically that high side, the, you know, the bit that lumpy bit as you're rolling down, that's your convexity. So you might have a convexity in your upper back. You might have a convexity in your lower back. You might have a convexity up in your neck. 
You might have all three, or you might have two, or you might just have one. I want you to do this test and I want you to write down what sides are higher, what sides are lower, right and left, and take pictures and just really understand what is going on with your curves. What is your convex side? What is your concave side? Because when we're doing corrective exercises, when you're watching my videos on my social media, and you're like, Claudia, I don't know what side is my concave side. This is why we're doing this video, because you really need to understand your concave sides, because when we're doing corrective exercises, we'll breathe in and try to open those concave sides. So that's the opposite side of the lumpy convexity. That's the flat side. So my right thoracic left lumbar, my concave is my back left ribs and this back bit here. But also the front ribs are concave and convex as well. This is that, this is where it gets complicated. But my front ribs here, this is my convex front ribs, concave back ribs, concave front ribs, convex back ribs. So if you're getting really technical here, when I'm doing my my shroth and my breathing work, I'm breathing into my concavity here, my concavity here, my concavity here, and <laughs> the one up here as well. It gets complicated. Um, but obviously I know my curves very well, so I really want you guys to understand your curves really, really well. I hope that this little tutorial helps you understand what is going on through your body Maybe it's the reason why one of your feet turned out for years. I had no idea why my foot was wanting to do this all the time. Now I know it's because of my scoliosis and everything is connected. If you have a wonky smile, maybe it's connected with your scoliosis. So just understanding your body so that we can help to make it all better. <laughs> anyway, I am going to leave you with that one. Obviously, comment down below if you have any questions. Please subscribe and like if you're new here. Welcome, I'm so happy to see you and help you and share this advice with you. And I'm gonna be bringing lots more. So stay tuned and I will see you soon. Goodbye.